afternoon everybody uh, and welcome back to Birmingham Wildlife Conservation Park for the uh, final Facebook Live video with me. Um, yeah, today we are going to go around and have a look at the choices uh, that you guys made in the comments on the uh, Facebook post we put up yesterday. I'll try and see everybody that we we talked about, uh, well you guys asked for yesterday. Um, I'll do my best to remember everyone. I might forget someone, but we'll, we'll do our best and see how we go. Um, so we are going to start with our ring-tailed lemurs here. As ever, feel free to send in any comments or any questions, and we will do our best to answer them for you. Yeah, here we've got our group of four ring-tailed lemurs. Hi, Zena. Hope you're okay today. Hello, Mary. Hope you're all right. Hi Natalie, hope you're okay. So yeah, we've got a group of four ringtails in here. Hi Judith, hope you're all right. Try and get a bit of a better angle down here. Um, so we have got uh, Carlos sat in front of us here. And then the other three are all actually in the back there. I don't know if you can see some stripy tails in the little satellite cage there, um, but they're all just hiding away in there at the moment. We do have Carlos here at the front, having a bit of a snooze, having their little afternoon siesta that they have. Oh, thank you, Zena. No, I've really enjoyed doing these these videos, so um, yeah, it's a shame that, that they do have to come to an end, but, um, but yeah, thank you very much. No, it has been a pleasure bringing them to you. Hopefully we can bring you one last good one. Yeah, we've got four sleepy ring-tailed lemurs in here at the moment by the look of it. So they will have this little siesta in the afternoon. Around about this time they do generally have a bit of a break. And they, um, they do have a bit of a snooze. Yeah, two of them are grooming in the satellite cage there at the moment. Can't tell who though. I don't know if you can just see them on the very left hand side there grooming each other. Bless him. Right, we'll leave these guys to it. We will pop up towards the nocturnal house. We're going to see if we can see the cloud rats and the sloths. They are up to. Yeah, like I say, I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen with our videos. Um, I don't know if someone is going to take them over. Hopefully, they do. Hopefully, someone can take them over and finish the um, finish the world tour that we got about two thirds of the way through. Um, but yeah, we will see. Ah, thank you, Mary. New adventure, definitely a new adventure. But um, but yeah, no, I will, I will very much miss this place and all of you guys as well. What are you two doing? A bit of a wrestle. Yeah, we've got three boys in here. I believe they're three boys. Yeah, they are lovely. We do like our cloud rats. As rats go, they are very cute, I see. Right, let's see what the sloths are up to. Ah, there's a couple of sloths there, hanging around. Yes, I think they are siblings, actually. Yeah, all three of them are siblings. It's very kind of you, Matt. Thank you very much.
Very kind words, thank you. And I haven't paid him to say that. Not yet, anyway. So yeah, here's our um, little sloths. Well, quite big sloths. Two of them down here. I cannot tell who's who anymore, if I'm being completely honest. The armadillo's running around as well, actually, which is quite nice to see. Running around like a little remote control car, as he does. <laughs> Thought we'd only said a five of them, huh? This is Safi up the top, I do believe, actually. Uh, so I'm actually off to uh, Bristol Zoo Project Xena. Um, so I won't be too far. Only an hour up the road or so, down the road, however you put it. So yeah, if anyone does see me at my new collection, please feel free to say hello. But yeah, not going too far. Still be able to come back and visit, visit this lot. Going to need to, I think. Right. We will leave these guys to it back into the light. Uh, I don't think our red ruffs are out and about at the moment. But we'll whiz around to see the pandas and the otters next. Ah, lovely Zena. Well, hopefully we'll bump into each other there. That would be, that would be rather nice. just fed the otters so they will either be quite active or um, well they may have gone to bed <laughs> one or two ways this will go Let's have a look down here see if they're out and about I can see some of the back there actually there is one of them yeah we'll see what we can do you never know might be able to suggest about live videos there we will wait and see. Wait and see. Right, so you can just see some of our otters there. Got one just feeding there by the poolside. Uh, we've got someone at the back there trying to bring some bamboo down for a bit of bedding by the look of it. Yeah, there's a few of them bobbling about around the, around the back there. I think one just chucked itself off, <laughs> off the ramp to the, the house at the back there to try and grab some more bamboo, but there you go. Yeah, they're having a bit of a bobble around, which is nice. No little ones about at the moment, unfortunately. Yeah, all ten of the family were out, like I say, probably about half an hour ago. Um, looks like we've just got the adults out at the moment. And a magpie. Being a cheeky, cheeky magpie. Just have a quick look at our bins from while they're here. There's Thor and Bibsy. Looks like they're arguing over a rabbit leg. Yes, it was nice to meet you too, Judith. Nice to have a chat. Nice to have a chat with you. Yeah, it's always nice to put a face to a name. Name to a face. Right, face to a name this time. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, the two bins are on there definitely having an argument. I think Thor's winning at the moment. Hi Tim, hope you're okay. Yeah, good old Mag and Pie. Plenty of them about at the moment. Here comes Bibsy. Yeah, these are the guys I'm going to miss the most. Hi right, Tim, hope you're alright.
I think Thor's won that one, Bibbs. I'd give it up if I were you. I don't know why she's whinging, because I did offer her the rabbit leg and she didn't want it, so... enjoy having a chat with with our, our visitors so yes um, yeah always nice to chat to you guys so yeah happily I'm Tim it's always been a pleasure right we'll see what the otters are up to again Who's this? Hello. You right there? You okay? You sad? What are you sad for? What are you sad for? Hey? Is it because I'm leaving? Is it because I'm going? I can't be here forever. I know. I know it's sad, but you'll be looked after. Everyone else will look after you here. You're in safe hands. You'll be fine, all right. <clears throat> you'll be, you'll be okay. You want a cuddle? Come on then, let's have a cuddle. There we go. We'll look after you. Don't worry. If not, I'll just take you to Bristol with me. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Right, I'm gonna go and have a look at the pandas and see what they're doing. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bless. <laughs> right, we've got our pandas in a bush here. Uh, not sure about the. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's just a surreal moment. <laughs> um, where were we? Yes, not sure about what's going to happen with the vi the, the videos um, after I'm uh, after this week. Um, yeah, hopefully they carry on. I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, hopefully someone will take up the mantle. Uh, like I say, hopefully someone can finish off the world tour. Because we did make a good crack at it. Like I say, we got about two thirds of the way through, so still got some more to, to do. Here's Aria just sat in the one side of the bush, and Mo is in the other side of the bush. Yeah, they're fine, actually. Um, yeah, they're, um, yeah they're, they're fine. Um, they, this time of year, pandas in general don't really get on in <laughs> in inverted commas. Um, they kind of keep themselves to themselves. They do share a nest box. So this morning they were both actually in in the nest box together um, at sleep, which is quite nice. Um, but then normally during the day, if they come across each other on the climbing frame, they'll have a bit of a shout at each other. So so yeah, um, it depends. It really does depend on the on the day um but yeah they, they both spend quite a lot of time in this willow bush now Ari has started joining Mo in it so yeah as you can see they they, um, they are fairly comfortable with each other <laughs> yeah they were definitely getting along fine back in that was March you know um unfortunately we had no cubs from that um but hope for next year hopefully next year they might have some, but we will wait and see. It would have been Aria's first breeding season and first litter, so so yeah, try again next year, hopefully. Even though Mo is getting on a bit now, he's 11 years old, bless him. He's, um, he's getting on a bit, but he's, he's a good one. Oh, I hope so, man. That's the only reason I do the job, to be a, a celebrity, you know. But. No, all jokes aside, um, yeah, it's, um, it has been a pleasure, as I say, bringing you these videos. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll see what happens. 
Right, so we'll go around and see Pete. And then unless I've forgotten anyone, I think that was everybody that we were going to um we were going to be having a look at on, on the video. They were all of the um, requests that we had. Walk around and see Pete. Yeah, we've, seen, we've seen the lemurs. Uh, generals actually we'll go out and see a uh, general lemur if he's out and about as well. Um, so I'm just going to be a mammal keeper at Bristol Zena, um, joining the, the mammal team there, so yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully we'll be good. My name is Pete, you'll have to put up with two of my, my voices, unfortunately, here's Pete. Such as earthquakes, fire and volcanic activity. Looks like you're smiling today, Pete. However, humans also had a part to play, with habitat loss and poaching of dragons and their crazy species. Little star that he is. Yeah, if you're talking about zoo celebrities, this is the biggest zoo celebrity here, isn't it? Everyone loves Pete. Individuals in 2013 to 3014 in 2015. Proper little star is our Pete. Yes, we'll go to the generals monthly. I'm not sure if we'll see anything because this time of year. An inside job all day, pretty much, but we'll, we'll go and see if, if we can see ahead. If we're lucky. Here's Pete having a nice little smile at us. Right, we'll go up to the general and see if we can spot them. And then we'll see where we're at. Probably wrap it up after after those gentle lemurs. Oh no, capybara! We've got to get up to the capybara. Gentle lemurs and capybara, and then we'll be done. I forgot about them. We'll finish off up the capybara. That will work nicely. Gentle, not looking very promising. Not promising at all, unfortunately. See, oh, I can see a shape on the back wall oh, there. I don't know if you can just see. Uh, where are we? Top of the nest box. There's a dark shape there, and that is a gentle lemur. Unfortunately, that's about that's about um, it's about as good as we're gonna get. There's a blob there at least. Uh, this new enclosure is going to be for our um, radiated tortoises. Um, if you visited us, you'll know that we are um, in the summer and in nice weather, the, the radiated tortoises go outside um, with our gentle lemurs. So we are going to give them a kind of permanent space. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will be finished soon. Nala, we'll just have a quick look, see if Nala is there. She is probably very elusive. It's a rabbit day today, so she is probably asleep somewhere, digesting. Um, she does go in here sometimes. So let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, so she is in there. You see it there? There's the top of Nala's head. There's her ears. grooming there in the bramble. <laughs> Unfortunately not Xena. Unfortunately I do still need to go and do my my animal job, the animal side of things, but um there's Nala. Just about. There's half of Nala's face anyway. But we will go out to the Capybara and that will be the we will call it a day on that one. Yes, that is my voice in the kind of dragon enclosure as well, <laughs> Tim. Um, yes, that, that is my, my narration. In there. So even though I'm going, my, my voice will still live on here. Unless they get someone to redo it, obviously. As soon as I'm out the door, but you never know. We'll see. We will see. Right, we'll get up to the capybara and then we'll call it. Are we back? Sorry, it looks like we lost the video for a second there. I think we're back.
long walk up to the capybara. Go and see the three, the three girls. Well, I'm glad I managed to keep you entertained on those days, Matt. Mostly talking rubbish, probably, but hopefully at least I've managed to keep you guys entertained. Yeah, a little bit of a special one today, Mary. A bit longer than normal. We are pretty much on it. Yeah, Tim, uh, Bibsy the Binturong has to be my favourite. You're not supposed to have favourites, but Bibsy definitely has to be the favourite today. Um, yeah, while I've been here, she's just a little star to work with, and I do love her to bits. Um, but, but everyone is. Everyone's special in their own particular ways. Some of them can get right on your nerves, but most of the time they're normally well behaved. Oh, bless you, Natalie. Thank you very much. And there's our three old girls. Thank you, Lorraine. No, it's been lovely bringing these videos to you. We'll see what happens. Never say never. Yeah, all three of them are having a bit of a graze at the moment, which is lovely. Right then, so yeah, we will wrap this one up now. Um, everybody, um, so all I need to say is a, um, all I need to say really is, um, a big thank you to everyone for tuning in every week, um, yeah, it's been a, been a, been a pleasure bringing these videos to you over the last three and a bit years, really, um, yeah, we started in, in COVID, um, I think it was July in COVID, something like that, so, um, so yeah. 2020 to 2023 um yeah it's it's been good it's it's been good it's nice to to bring these guys to you especially during the lockdown and stuff like that um when um yeah when obviously you guys couldn't visit um and to carry them on since we've been open and allow you guys to see them when when you're either like say on your lunch breaks or or just not able to get here it's um it's nice to be able to bring them to you so so yeah um yeah, like I say, thank you for, for tuning in and giving us a good reason to, to carry on doing the videos. Um, and yeah, obviously, like I say, if, if you do see me at Bristol Zoo, feel free to come and say hello. Um, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Never know, might be able to, to wangle some live videos from there as well, but we'll do our best. But um, yeah, once again, big thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, and yeah, we will, we will wrap it up there. So yeah, take care everyone and we will see you again. Cheers guys, bye.